So this is something a little bit different. We're behind the wheel of the Ford F-150 Lightning for some hands-on testing for a few days. Ford has been gracious enough to provide us with the vehicle. Now, I think the massive frunk with so much storage where an internal combustion engine used to be under the hood can create a whole new base of interested customers for Ford here. Look at all that room. People who want to be able to carry groceries, luggage, golf bags. You can fit two of them. Now this model that we've tested has a range of about 260 miles. That drops, of course, if you're towing. It can use a variety of charging networks, not Teslas, at least not yet. One of Ford's partners is Electrify America, and from the two locations we utilized, it seems they can do a better job at keeping chargers in service. Two of four were out of operation at one location, creating lines of vehicles waiting for a charge, with each taking typically 20 to 30 minutes. Some of that is due to some EV manufacturers partnering with Electrify America to provide free charging for a year or two for, for some vehicle owners. So of course they're gonna be going there, but those chargers need to be in service. Hopefully help us on the way with more EV charging stations. But for now, operators have to keep the ones out there online. Back to the F-150 Lightning. The idea of being able to use it to power your home or even charge other EVs in an emergency is really enticing. And the number of uh, AC, USB, and vehicle power port outlets available from the front to the interior is remarkable and remarkably useful. This was also my first opportunity to use Blue Cruise, which takes adaptive cruise control to a new level with the ability to drive hands-free on pre-qualified sections of divided highways. Did you just push this button here on the steering wheel? A driver-facing camera monitors you to make sure that your eyes stay on the road. And it did not turn itself off when I manually tapped the brakes or changed lanes. That makes it truly more of an assistant designed for comfort. More safe? That is one of the goals. We'll see. The technology here is getting better all of the time and updates are over the air. Speaking of brakes, Drivers can select the one pedal option to take advantage of regenerative braking. That takes some getting used to, but really not very long at all, in my experience. The F-150 Lightning Lariat we tested has a sticker price topping $80,000. I've seen the entry-level Lightning Pro for close to $42,000, at least what the, that's what the ad said. And the top of the line can hit six figures, topping $100,000, so... You've got a wide range of prices here, but from our experience, over five days, the F-150 Lightning is certainly worthy of your consideration.